Doc kept pushing ahead with the neural interface. This thing is the worst kind of science. Danger he remapped the spatial sensor to work as a targeting system. Doc turned the arms into weapons without me even noticing. strong. Also kind of freaky. So many good memories, Doc's the smartest man I know. And now he might be the most dangerous. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Doc wasn't just reinforcing the arms. He was turning them into weapons. Doc working on with this. Beautiful. Looks like another potential prosthetic contact material. Oh, hydrogel IPN. This looks promising. But it'd be a great tissue interface. Hmm, what was Doc working on with this? Great conductivity. Not sure about long-term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. was testing the biocompatibility of graphene. Not great. Pretty high cytotoxicity. Not sure I'd use this as tissue interface. Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility. Decent candidate for a direct tissue interface. But I feel like we can do better. Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? Oh, awesome! It's been nano-latticed. Wow, that's strong. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic. Messing around with superconductors. Very cool. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Some kind of polymer. is awesome. A self-healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. Let's take a look. That did it. Time for some science.
That looks right. Baby, Miss William Finney Lounge. Oh, okay. oh, 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 <laughs> Damn it. Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man. <laughs> 